So hello everyone, how's everyone doing? Welcome to this Armored Warfare replay of Fiora in a main battle tank. All of you call bullshit right now. Because Fiora doesn't main battle tank! Yes I do sometimes. It's very rare and there's very select few main battle tanks I'll get into. The important thing here however is to remember that there's going to be a series, this is going to be about some teamwork between myself and Sergeant Slater. I think I pronounced your name right, I probably butchered it horribly. In addition to this, if you guys don't mind me doing me a favor, Go ahead and hit the like button if you're having a good time. Just a reminder at the beginning, I'm going to remind you again at the end. But I'm driving an MBT! This is a, some shenanigans that are happening, that need to be addressed, that aren't going to be. For reasons. Now, as you can see, uh, the Sarge here. It's a brand new subscriber, but he doesn't even realize that today he's on YouTube with me. This is actually from the live stream today, which there's a super fight live stream this afternoon, and I will be buying a copy or two of Tabletop Simulator for the first people to show up who don't have one who want to join us. In the meantime, I am moving up as an MBT, and I spot an expeditionary tank. I missed. Go figure, I would miss. I am Fiora. I am in a main battle tank. I am out of my element. Didn't miss that time, and he just died. Now the Sarge and I are going to be doing some teamwork without platoon mates, and it's because we're going to be looking at each other and what each other is doing, and then determining how best to support each other. Now the first thing I do is I go nosing around places I probably shouldn't be. And I learned my lesson real quick, by the way. You don't go doing this in MBT all the time. It, it kind of sucks. So I first come around this way, and I think, you know what? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check this site. Like, I'm going to check it out, see if I get spotted. No, okay, well, I'm going to check this stuff out. Now, it's right about here I get lit. And I'm like, what the fuck lit me? And you'll notice it here in a moment. There's the BMP-2 at 100 meter, at 150 meters, able to light me and hit me with a missile before I can react. Now I stay here a moment and keep lighting him and pay him back because I know he doesn't have the gun depression to hit me. And at the same time, I begin to side scrape away because I realize that this is a bad spot to be in as I hear the second missile go whizzing out and slam into the buildings. So I decide I'm bugging out of here. And then I notice my map. As the Sarge so kindly points out to us with pings upon the map. He needs help. I need to provide said help. Because he is having to sit up here and attempt to solo as the Terminator next to him got annihilated. So I'm going to try to move up as close as I can without interfering with his ability to move. To provide some supporting fire. Now, I don't have a shot here, and then the XM1 comes out, and ah, I just barely missed that turret ring. And he takes a hit, he takes several hits. But he's tanking appropriately, he's moving around constantly. Again, I missed the turret ring, I'm annoyed now, so I push on up and try to get shots from around the other side. And hey, look at that, direct hit. What are you firing HE at me for? That's silly. Looking at the XM1, and then Sergeant takes care of it for us. And I slam the MBT-70 and track him. To which Sergeant puts another one in him, resetting his track timer by two seconds, which is just enough for me to deliver the killing blow! And now we're after this starship. Fire a shot on the move. And get the hit. Now he's about to plant one right back into me with a missile. A freaking missile. I bounce, but Sarge doesn't. So that's two tanks that took on three, and we're walking away. Not only are we walking away, we're poking out here, and I'm shooting up there. I tried to hit the uh, the Centauro right there for the cheap kill, and the Expeditionary tank tracked, blocked me. But now I'm reloaded, and I'm gonna. We're just double teaming away. We're not platoon. We're not in team speak. We're just working together. Critical hit on the expeditionary tank for the finishing blow. And I've done a surprising 3,000 damage. 
What? Yeah. Surprising 3k damage. I should have headed further north here, I think, to, to make sure, because I, I wasn't quite sure which direction the Centauro came from or was going to. But there he actually is, and the Veeble, of course, rushes right on in, being an evil Veeble, and finishes the job. This is a perfect example of how to work with a puppy. You assume the other person is competent once they've proved they're competent. You assume you are competent, and the two of you integrate together into a fighting unit. And it works. It just worked. That just happened. By the way, welcome to the channel, Sarge, if I haven't already told you that. Now let's go take a look at the stats from this particular matchup so you guys can see exactly the amount of chaos and insanity that we caused. Here they are. So, I did 3,090 damage, 5 assists, 2 kills. That's not terribly bad, especially considering we were outnumbered in the city by a significant amount. Um, wrong way for your. I think. Yeah, here we go. So the Sarge and I did a combined 7,106 points of damage, working together as a team to kill six enemy tanks. The two of us pretty much became the anvil on which everyone else could support. And we did our job very effectively as MBTs. Now what happened there is you saw also, just a quick note, you saw after the initial engagement when it was time to move out, I took the lead. That's because I looked over and said, you're at less than a thousand hit points. I've got 1500. I'm going to take the lead now and take the hit. And I did. I took the starship's hit in the face. If my second shot hadn't bounced, the starship would have just died to me. But oh well, you can have the kill, Sarge. But that's what we did. And we worked together through this entire match as a team. This is how you should, this is how puppies should behave. This is what works, people. Look at your map, read your map, recognize where your allies are, and work for the greater cause of slaughtering your foes, which we did a pretty hefty slaughter. I mean, I've got, only got two kills. Fair enough. Only did 150% of my hit points in damage. Actually, that's kind of hard for a lot of people. But if you look at this, one, two, three, four, five different tanks besides the two I killed that I shot. That is incredibly good self-awareness. 13 shots fired, 12 landed on target, one actually missed. Eight penetrating hits. That is how you drive MBTs with puppies. Now down here we have the additional things here. I did 543 assists, most of which was from destroying the enemy tracks. As I said, when I tracked the MBT-70, the MBT-70, Sarge got to put another round into him, which reset his tracks, which let me finish him off. Your goal is not to get kills. Kills will come. Will come. Your goal is to focus down one tank at a time. We focused the XM-1, we focused the MBT-70, then we focused the Starship. And what did we end up with? We ended up being able to roll around and then focus the T-72. Focus the expeditionary tank. And that was all she wrote. Because the two of us, it's better to put both of our guns on the same tank and repeatedly blast that tank. Also, excellent job for Sarge doing the tanking and managing to actually bounce several shots. While we were able to deliver our own pain right back into their faces. I also apparently bounced a couple rounds. I received four hits, two penetrated, two obviously ricocheted. Because the only two that penetrated me were missiles. Goddamn missiles. But I ricocheted 504 points of damage. I'm assuming some of that is from the HE round from the starship, and the other shot is from the starship's heat shell. All because I stayed mobile unless I was actually making, setting up a shot and knew the enemy couldn't shoot me back at the time. So, that is our statistical breakdown. Something that I should be doing more often anyway to help you guys out and help you guys become better at this game. Also, try to be entertaining. But, now's your second reminder. Hit the like button! If you didn't like the video, there's the dislike button. You can hit it too. But you're not as cool. Just want to make that clear. You can hit whichever one you want, but if you hit the dislike button, you're not as cool with me. Okay, we're done there. A previous Armored Warfare video that you might be interested in is right there off to my left. It is, I believe, some shenaniganry. 
involving the BMP2 and how to play said BMP2 as it's a full review of the tank! Go have a look at that armored fighting vehicle and see what you think. If you would like to support the channel, you can do so through Patreon, or you can check out the ad at the end of the video. And lastly, I hope to see all of your lovely faces next time. Bye, you hitting the subscribe button, of course. In the meantime, from my house to yours, this is Fiora, and I will see all of you on live stream this afternoon for Super Fight! And remember, I'm buying a couple copies, one or two, don't know yet, depends on if it's on sale or not, for anyone who shows up early that wants to play Tabletop Simulator Super Fight with us. See you later, guys! Bye-bye!